So we need to put this equation, negative 5x minus 4y equals 20 in slope intercept form. And remember, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what we have to do is we have to solve for y. We need to get this little guy by itself. And we do that by moving this negative 5x first. The opposite of negative 5x is plus 5x, plus 5x. The negative 5x plus 5x cancels. We're going to drop down the negative 4y. And you got to remember to drop the negative with it. Chances are you miss this one because you just dropped down a 4y. Okay, So negative 4y equals, uh, we're going to write the x first. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep the sign out front. So positive 5x. And in front of this 20 is just an invisible uh, plus sign. So we're going to say plus 20 because we want x first when we talk about slope intercept form. Now, this negative 4 is being multiplied to the y. So to move it to get y by itself, we need to divide by negative 4. And whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other. Uh, the negative 4s cancel. So we're left with y equals. We're going to divide the negative 4 by each term on the right side. And we make a hurt because we love math. 5x divided by negative 4 is not a good number. It will give us a fraction. But what we want to do is we just want to say 5 over 4. And it is going to be negative because we have a positive divided by a negative. Then we attach the x. And plus 20 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 5, so minus 5. y equals negative 5 over 4x minus 5. That is our equation. Now on the next question, it asks you to find, and here's our slope intercept form, the y-intercept, which is going to be b. This is for the next question. In this equation, our y-intercept is going to be this number right here, negative 5. And remember, the y-intercept is where the graph, where this equation is going to cross the y-axis. So the y-intercept is negative 5 for the next problem.